perhaps one of the greatest mysteries and one of the most debated topics. How did everything begin? How did the universe, which we are part of, evolve to its current form? The most commonly accepted theory for the evolution of the universe is the Big Bang model. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe began as an unimaginably hot, dense point. At this stage, all the fundamental forces of the universe, like gravity and electromagnetism, are thought to be unified into a singular superforce. At around a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, the universe experienced a burst of expansion, going from subatomic size to golf ball size almost instantly. This process is called inflation. After inflation, at around one millionth of a second after the Big Bang, the universe continued to expand at a slower rate leading to the formation of matter, becoming cooler and less dense than before. The fundamental forces which were unified earlier now started to show up. First gravity, then the strong, weak, and electromagnetic forces, everything becomes distinct. One second after the Big Bang, the universe was filled with quarks, electrons, protons, and neutrinos. These particles started smashing together, leading to the formation of protons and neutrons. Within the first 200 seconds of the universe, protons and neutrons start to come together to form the nuclei of simple elements, like hydrogen and helium. It will take nearly 300,000 years for the universe to cool down to 1,000 degrees Celsius, cool enough for the electrons to pair up with the nuclei and form the first stable atoms. With the bonding of electrons, the universe, which was opaque earlier, finally becomes transparent to light. However, after this point, as the stars and bright objects were not born yet, the universe was thrown into a dark age for several hundred million years. About 200 million years after the Big Bang, the universe began to come out of its cosmic dark age. Small, dense regions of cosmic gas start to collapse under their own gravity to form the very first stars and galaxies which light up the whole universe. Around 9 billion years after the Big Bang, thanks to the explosion of a nearby star, a cloud of gas and dirt in our Milky Way started to collapse under its own gravity. As the cloud began to accelerate, inertia and gravity flattened into a huge spinning disk, giving birth to the sun, planets, moons, and asteroids. About 3.8 billion years ago, our planet Earth cooled down, allowing microscopic living cells to thrive in the harsh volcanic environment. From a single common ancestor, life on Earth evolved and began spreading its branches in every direction. Now we have evolved to an extent where we're capable of searching the origin of the universe. We are conscious enough to think, how did everything begin? We are intelligent enough to create theories on the evolution of our universe. But what if everything we have studied about the universe isn't true? What if we aren't even capable of understanding how the universe started? Can you expect a society of chimpanzees to understand that the Earth is spherical in shape or it orbits around the Sun, or that we experience days and nights because Earth spins around its axis? We are indeed quite intelligent, and know more about the universe compared to our closest living ancestor, chimpanzees. But this doesn't mean that we are capable of understanding everything. What if there exists another species who understands more than us, possesses all the knowledge, and for them, we are just like chimpanzees? What if they are the creators and we are merely pawns on their large cosmic chessboard?